Interview and job search strategies at work. I'm here with Morgan Rose Vemu from Evoked Brush Strokes. So Morgan, what is Evoked Brush Strokes anyway? Well, Evoked Brush Strokes is the name of my artist um, company. I am a face and body artist and I face paint kids for birthday parties or Halloween parties, um, people who want to dress up, do some SFX, um, any specialized um, function that you want to be like extra cool at, um, I, I do that. I do private um, sessions with people if they want. Um, we're basically um, an artist entertainment company. Um, we also do balloons, um, hand henna design parties. Um, I'm getting into airbrush. And basically, if you have a birthday party and you need some ideas, you would give me a call and I would talk to you. Wow, that's pretty cool, Morgan. So how did you, how did you get into this, uh, this field? Well, um, I went back to school after the kids were little and decided to do laboratory science, medical laboratory science for my degree. I really liked science, but I wanted something practical that would have a job. Did my schooling, got into a dermatology, most surgeon office, ran the lab, but it was a lot of pressure because it was live surgeries. People, the doctor would go and um, cut off a BCC, SCC, uh, melatonin, melatonin um, and bring it to me. I would process the tissue onto a slide so that he could read it under a microscope. He would read the, mic the slide and decide if the patient cleared and can go home. Well, it was very stressful to say the least. I worked long hours. Sometimes I got to go home early, but you never know you know, how many layers the patient needed cut. Turns out I was coming in at 6 a.m., leaving at 9 p.m. I was exhausted, my, didn't get to see my family. Um, it had made nice money, but I just wasn't happy. So while I was working, I started thinking about maybe starting my own business. Like, what would I do if I didn't do this after I just went to school for it? So my mom majored in painting. I knew I was artistic, but I kind of steered away. So then I started thinking, okay, maybe I'll start my own art company. So I knew in this day and age, you can't just go paint canvases and, you know, call it a business. Nobody does, can make a living um, just selling paintings. So I started researching what other artists do for money. Um, that came across face painting and started researching on YouTube and, and Facebook. And I found all these groups and... One thing led to another, and I was like, well, I'm going to start a face painting business. And I ordered everything. I worked for a year, actually, after we had moved to um, St. Louis, Missouri, from Virginia, where I was working. Um, took a job at a daycare, saved up for a year, and was able to purchase everything I needed for my business. And that's where I started. So you, so let me ask you, so you paint, um, do you do paintings like, say, um, uh, Comic-Con or cosplay paintings like that? Is that what the kind of body paint you're talking about? Well, um, yes, that's actually... Comic-Con would be one aspect of face and body art. Um, you can steer in different directions. So I would say the most common thing, especially for women face painters, is going to be birthday parties for children. Parents hire you for their birthday party. You go, you do 10, 20 kids' faces, I want a butterfly, I want this, and, and you make them all happy, and, and they go in about their business with their birthday. That's going to be the general thing. But you can steer into body painting. You can steer into body painting using airbrush. You can go to co um, Comic-Con. You can um, airbrush or face paint and dress the person up um, with cosplay, they have their costumes, and you can um, add on, you know, the paint and then even props with that. You can even go into SFX, which is special effects for, like, gore and, and haunted houses. So, surprisingly, you can go many directions in face and body art. So, like, Iron Man and all that? Um, well, like, when referring to the movies, usually you have makeup artists who are also experienced with um, either SFX or body painting. Um, so in the case of the movie Iron Man, you're probably going to have more like a costume person. Whereas um, if you look up, say, 
there's a famous artist named Avi Ram who is a body painter and he um, went out to California and actually did body painting for the music video. If you look up City Girls twerk featuring Cardi B, they're painted like a tiger. Um, you'll see that's him and another artist had painted that. So, so what does SFX mean? SFX is special effects. Um, this is actually more common in the movie industry or like say around Halloween time. It's the gore when you have an open wound like on your, your, you know, your body or um, you're using prosthetics um, to kind of change the shape of, you know, the, the body or like your face and they use special materials that like build up a wound or something like that. that um, gives you shape so give me a, a movie an example of of like a movie using F S F X. um well i guess sfx could have like two different spectrums so one spectrum could be like avatar so they you know they did have to do a lot of makeup and and building up for the character even though that it was a lot of um what they call it cgi um, and then another movie would be like Saw, when you have like realistic wounds and, and you want to, you know, make it look like the person's bones exposed or their skin's been pulled back. That would be SFX. So that sounds really difficult. Can, can, so can anybody do this type of stuff? Um, well, I would say anybody who wants to go into art and has a passion for art, I would say yes. Um, you definitely need to be more open-minded um, in this industry because <laughs> obviously you're working with bodies. <laughs> uh, another thing to keep in mind is um, even when I saved up and first started getting into face and body art, the number one thing that I was doing was, is, and I still do, is birthday parties. Um, you are working with people. So you need to have people skills and like people. You need to have the passion for art. And then you also need to have some business sense because what is the point of having all this artistic skill and ready to go with all your face painting equipment and then nobody calls you because you have to market, you have to do sales, you have to keep track of all your expenses and get an accountant you have to get you know insurance so yeah if you're wanting to be self-employed and you have the drive to start a business then I would say and you're artistic you know it will take about a year after a, a year of hard work you can start building up business in your area and people will start calling you and you can start doing getting experience on the job so what makes you different from, say, other face painters? Um, I would say the one thing that I kind of got into was this product called Bling. Um, I have named mine Bang & Bling, but basically it's face painting jewelry for children or, you know, special body paints if you wanted. Um, that they're jewels basically for face painting and you create a design on the kid you add a little adhesive to the jewel and you stick it on and it goes with the design so you you have a physical product that you sell uh, yes um, I actually sell my product at conventions and whenever people order um, bang and bling is what it's called face and body art jewelry and people can use this on the job to enhance their uh, designs that they do to make them stand out. So how, how do you spell that again? Bangin is B-A-N-G capital N and bling, B-L-I-N-G. So like bling bling, right? Yeah, um, you might see advertisements on Facebook for like all those glitters that are out right now. You got glitter creams, glitter gels, and you've seen people stick on these like jewel clusters on their face. Basically, mine are homemade um, jewel clusters that people use to enhance their designs. So, uh, do you have a website or, or how can people reach you? Um, I do have a website. It's um, www.evokedbrushstrokes.com, but um, you can also reach me on Facebook and Instagram. 
on Facebook. My name is Morgan Rose Vamu, and I have an artist page, Evoked Brush Strokes. And I also have my Bang and Bling artist page where people can look at examples and they can message me and contact me um, and tell me what it is that they want. Okay, um, so how can, how do I, what's your website again? How do you spell it? Um, evoked Facebook? Brush Strokes. It's Evoked, E V O K E D, Brush, B R U S H, Strokes, S T R O K E S. And my, again, my name is Morgan Rose Vamu on Facebook, but Evoked Brush Strokes is my artist page where you can actually see my work and Bang and Bling, B A N G, capital N, and then Bling, B L I N G. So on my Evoke Brush Strokes Facebook artist page, you're going to see a picture of me, um, kind of like the profile next to the title. And then in the cover photo, you're going to see my hand with my logo on it. And it's going to be this little graffiti art that I did. Um, you can go through my page, like, follow it, and you can see many different designs that I've done. I yeah, really appreciate coming on the podcast. Well, thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, again, if you have any questions, um, the best way to contact or reach me is through Instagram, Instagram or Facebook, Evoke Brush Strokes or Morgan Rose Vamu or Bang and & Bling, and you can give me a message, and I'll try to help you out as best as possible.